Hello guys, today you will see another video, the second free video from my newest course about how to structure Laravel projects. Yesterday I've published a video about service classes and today we will talk about action classes. Tomorrow there will be the third free video and if you want full two hour course, the link will be in the description below. Now let's talk about actions in Laravel. In this video, I will show you two open source examples of action classes in Laravel. One example is from open source project called Lara Streamers by Christoph Rumpel. And to approve the stream from user, from what I understand, it has approve stream action with handle and it just basically approves the stream. So updates to approved add now with handling some more data, artisan call, import, stuff like that. So one class, one method to handle one action. And that action is called from interestingly a controller with also one method and Christoph here uses invocable controllers so there's a proof stream controller with invoke method and that action class is initialized in the controller method here. So there's interestingly a proof stream controller and if we go to that subfolder of app HTTP controllers there's also reject stream controller which has another action of reject stream action. So this is another way to structure the actions in general. It's totally personal preference again. As we've been talking throughout this course, you could have one controller of stream controller with two methods, approve and reject, and you can create one service class, for example, of stream service with two methods, approve and reject. But in this case, Christoph chose to have action for each of the actions and separate controller for each of the actions as well. Another similar example comes from Frag from Spati, Frag.dev, the website, and there's also approve link action. That link approval is done with execute method, and notice that the method is different. Execute, in Christoph's case, the method name is handle. That's again your personal preference. And within the execute, the link is approved, the mail is sent, and also some update is happening and clearing the cache. And that approve link action class is called from the controller of link approval. And also approve link action is auto resolved if you type hint it in the controller method. So again, you could structure that as service like link service and then have a method of approve link, reject link, or something like that. But some people prefer to use actions for specific actions with only one method inside of each class. 